Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll work through some examples of using the rank, dense rank, and row number analytic functions to solve some problems. If you're new to analytic functions, there are some links in the description box, including an introduction post that will help you understand the basics of them. We start off with a list of employees in the EMP table. We're going to focus on the salaries stored in the SAL column. The rank analytic function applies an Olympic medal style ranking to an ordered set of data. Here we select some of the columns from the table, including the salary. The select list also includes the rank analytic function. In the analytic clause, we've just used an order by clause saying we want the analytic function to be applied to the results set in the order of ascending salary, so that's lowest to the highest. When we run the query, we see each row has a rank applied from 1 to n. Notice what happens when we get a tie for a salary. There are two people in fourth place, so the next rank is 6, not 5. There's also a tie for 12th place, so there's no 13th place. This is like Olympic medalling. If two people share the gold, there's no silver medalist. If you don't want gaps in the sequence, we can switch to using the dense rank analytic function. Notice the query is similar to the previous example, but we've substituted dense rank for rank. When we check out the results, we can see we still have a tie for fourth place, but the next row has a rank of 5, not 6. We essentially compacted the output of rank to remove the gaps in the sequence. If you don't want ties, you should use the row number analytic function. This gives a unique rank from 1 to n for each row. We do have to consider the implication of ties though. Which row comes first? In this case, we've made the decision to order the data by salary and hard date, so in the event of ties, the person who's been employed the longest will come first. As we expected, we get a unique rank for each row. There are no longer ties. We've switched back to using the rank analytic function, but we've added partition by department number into the analytic clause. The partition by clause restricts the action of the analytic function to within the partition boundary. This will give us a rank within the department. We can see each partition has its own internal ranking. We can use analytic functions in an inline view to produce a top end query on a per group basis. Here we take the query from the previous example and place it in an inline view. We can then select all the data that has a rank of 1. This gives us only the lowest paid person in each department. Changing the order by to descending gives us the highest paid person in each department. Notice we have a tie in department 20. If you don't want ties, switch back to using the row number analytic function. Notice the tie is gone in department 20 and we only have the employee Scott present. Remember, if we don't want ties, we might have to consider additional ordering to guarantee a repeatable result. Here we've added in hard date, so if there's a tie, we'll pick the person that has been in the company the longest. Notice the employee in department 20 is now Ford. I hope this has given you some idea of what the rank, dense rank and row number analytic functions can be used for. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.